Here on the east end of the city of Alameda sits Chochenyo Park. It used to be Jackson Park named after the former president. But that changed after community organizers pushed for a new name. The exhibit you see at the front of the park replaced the board with Andrew Jackson's name and now presents work from six African-American artists called Creating Our Future. Take a look around the park for videos of the community members we interviewed recently. They helped redefine the space. This video is of community organizer Rashid Shabazz advocating for a new name in a city council meeting in 2018. Uh, the call to rename Jackson Park is primarily based on his treatment of African and indigenous or Native American people, uh, and specifically his life as a slaveholder and someone that both displaced and killed many indigenous people uh, on this land. In January, the city council voted 4-1 to one to approve the new name. The movement was energized by nationwide protest over police violence in 2020. We spoke with Rashid recently. In 2018, I wrote a letter to the Alameda Parks and Recreation Commission uh, detailing some things about Andrew Jackson and uh, his history and particularly his history dealing with African and indigenous people and suggested they rename the park. Uh, the park we're referring to, the park formerly known as Jackson Park, uh, opened in, to the public in 1895. And in 1909, it received the name, or as one writer said, it was Christianed uh, at Jackson Park in honor of Andrew Jackson, the seventh president of the U.S. And so uh, through a long process from 2018, delayed and then later reignited uh, or re-energized in 2020, uh, the park was renamed to Chochenyo Park. Old, undated photos show the park in a different light. It is part of a history that organizers say informed their approach to renaming. And so in the city of Alameda, there's a long history of indigenous peoples uh, being here and also indigenous people being removed. Karina Gold spoke to the wider community in February. Good evening, everyone. I'm Karina Gould. I am the traditional spokesperson and tribal chair of the Confederated Villages of Lashon. And the language that I just spoke in was Chochenyo, the very first language of the East Bay uh, in a territory called Huchin, which actually encompasses Oakland, Alameda, Berkeley, Emeryville, Albany, and Piedmont. And so Huchin is a territory that is uh, bigger than a city, smaller than a county, but it's one of the many territories that we'll get into. The vision for the park is constantly evolving. The vision, we don't know what that is, but we do know that we have more hope for the park. We're hoping that people stop by. Uh, we hope that it sparks a meaningful and in-depth conversation about the process, whether you agree with it or not. I would love for people to sit on the bench there or the grass with their mask on and six feet apart um, to understand why we did this, why this name. Um, and what we're also hoping for is that it wasn't just renaming a park. It was a social justice action. And we're hoping that this heart work, heart work will ripple throughout Alameda and we continue to see the change. And that change marked throughout history in 1865, San Francisco and Alameda Railroad opens Alameda Park Resort. In 1867, the Alameda Park Real Estate Subdivision opens. The Alameda Park Homestead opens in 1874. In 1909, Jackson Park's name is adopted by the Park and Playground Commission. In 2018, a petition to rename Jackson Park begins. And the city in 2020 denames the park. In 2021, the city adopts Chochenyo Park's name. I also hope it's a catalyst for better, a uh, better relationship and a stronger relationship between the Confederated Villages of Lishan and the city of Alameda, whether that be the local government or community members. Um, when during our community forum, when uh, Corinna Gold and her family 
um, presented, they had a lot of ideas about how the park could be used, like planting a medicinal garden or used as an educational space. And historically, the use of the park has evolved since its uh, you know, creation as a private park, um, where only the people who lived around it could use it to discussions about whether or not to put a playground to now in more recently it being used as a starting point for, pro for social justice protests. As new meaning is brought with a new name, young residents like Raquel find a renewed sense of hope. I think, especially this park, it has so much, it's so open, it's so freeing. I feel like every time I go to this park, you're going there to like bring community. It doesn't have like, there's not play structures, there's not things like, so the only thing really there is for you to connect with other people. And I feel like that has that, like, that's really fun. Like I also went to Alameda High, so I've spent many days walking to the park and spending my time with my friends, you know, sharing, having picnics, whatever there. And I think it's like, it's not only an outdoor space, but it's like this freeing outdoor space.